Today, uh, we are going to resolve how to apply Japanese Yen into our project. Okay, because uh, we already know that Japanese Yen is different from another currency. Japanese Yen is a lot of value. Okay, so, so what we are going to do is we are going to apply a Japanese Yen into our uh, currency list. Okay, so... First, here in our database and seeder currency table seeder, we are going to apply here. I mean, I will going to add here. So let's say, uh, GPY Japanese yen. Okay. So I will save it. Then let's go here. And then here, so let's see clear first like that one. So. Let's say artisan. Set. So okay. Uh, we are going to. I mean, migrate press seeder. So we will going to delete everything first from our uh, the database. Okay, we are going to create from scratch our database so let's create this one so let's say it's okay so <clears throat> so we are going to create a new account okay because uh, our old account is already deleted because this is a fresh fresh uh, data okay so JSON Let's say, let's say JSON at so okay. So from here, so we have now a Japanese yen. So if we are going to try this one, let's say first uh, US dollar first or let's say uh, US dollar so people and and it works right so but if we use Japanese yen like this one to choose people because we have uh, for now we, we are using people right so choose P and we got an error like this because uh, because you know, uh, Japanese yen is different and different from other. Okay. So what we are going to do? Let's go back here. So inside the bar app, and let's go to our services and people service. So, okay. So here in our create order, so we need here. We need to round. To round this one okay so we need to round the value of our Japanese yen into a nearest integer value okay so uh, first we need to create like this one so we need to multiply like a uh, factor okay we need to multiply factor and then after that one we are going of course to divide itself let's say factor okay so example this one so uh, how it works so let's say we have a calculator here so okay so example our japanese yen has uh, let's say five point zero uh, one okay so we need to times this one to our factor let's say the value i mean let's say times then let's say the value of our factor let's say 10 okay so then equal so the result now of our i mean our our currency is now like this one so five i sorry 
again again so let's say uh, we have a 5.10 like that one okay then we need to times this one into 10 so we have a result of of 51 so here example uh, let's say 5.10 and then the value is uh, 51 let's say 501 like that okay so because uh, we need to multiply but and then we are going and then after next we are going to uh, to divide this one let's say the value of our factor is 10 so let's say this one so 10 I mean 51 did by did by 10 then the result is the same right so that is how it works so now so from that so where is factor uh, I mean what is factor so from that so we are going to create another method from that so let's say public uh, function and let's say let's say resolve uh, resolve factor okay and here we have a, a resolve factor and here we have an argument currency like that okay so and here we are going to let's say zero uh, let's say decimal let's say let's say D zero DC zero decimal currency currencies okay then equal to let's say inside the array we have a GPY okay W of our Japanese yen I mean the currency of our Japanese yen. So then, then here after this one, we have uh, another condition. Let's see if then sorry if in array like that, and we have uh, let's see to our argument, we are going to currency. And of course, this one we are going to put it here. Uh, right here. Oh, sorry. Right this one. Okay. So here we have a return uh, from one, let's say one. Okay. And here we have. Uh, return let's see 100 okay. so next is we need to let's say str upper okay we need to wrap our currency with str upper because uh, it is always an uppercase so like this one may I check first So, okay, so I think that's it. Uh, this is one, so zero decimal currency. So, okay, so from here we are going to copy this one, resolve factor, and let's go back here. Okay, so from here we are going to create uh, equal, then this uh, we are going to call our uh, resolve factor and our argument let's say currency okay so that's it so factor this result and our factor is now like this one so so that's it and let's try okay so let's try this one so let's go back and refresh so let's try our GPY and PayPal. So take note this one, the value is 403. Uh, let's see here, we are going to put it here. 
P, then P. So now our currency PayPal, I mean our yen is now working, but let's try to log in. So, okay, so let's get the password here. So, and here we go. Our Japanese yen is 404. So, let's check first. So, 404. So, like what I said, so we need to convert. I mean, we need to round off our to the nearest integer value. Okay, so 403. So, we need to round off. So, we have a 404 like that one. So, okay, so that is a Japanese yen's work. So, let's say P now. So, thank you, and we receive a payment amount of 404 Japanese yen. So, how about the US dollar? So, let's try the US dollar. So, we have this one. Uh, okay, uh, 599.22. So, let's try the US dollar. So, click people and pay. So, 599.24 is correct. So let's go pay. So it's still working. So we got 599.24. So exactly, uh, it's totally working. So so that's all guys i mean that's it guys so see you in our next video so in our next video so let's go uh, let's discuss about stripe uh let's start about stripe so that's all guys so thank you and have a nice day ahead everyone so please click subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day